Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to sequence stuff on VCV rack using Renoise as quickly as possible. So let's just get started right away. The first thing you're going to do is to download any software that creates a virtual MIDI servers. So you need anything that can make you send MIDI messages between different applications. And in this case, I'm going to use Loop MIDI, but you can also use Loop B1. They are both free. And there may be other applications out there that do the same thing, but I'm going to use Loop MIDI. So after you install it, you get this uh, nice application here. And you can then click here to create a new server or port. It's the same thing. In this case, I'm going to create a new one. And I will name it uh, VCV Rec. In this case, it doesn't have to be named like this, but it's just to make it easy for you to understand me. So yeah, now I have a new MIDI port going on. And then we can go to Renoise, Edit Preferences, uh, MIDI, MIDI Clock Master, and then I'm going to choose VCV Rack here, which is the same port that I created in Loop MIDI. Now that I have the master clock going on, I can go over to the MIDI tab and you'll see that it's sending uh, MIDI clock information every once in a while, you know. So if I turn down the BPM, it will get slower and slower. So yeah. Now I can close this window. You don't need to set any inputs here. And you actually shouldn't set because it can result in feedback. I'm going to show you later what happens. Anyways, now all I have to do is create a new instrument, which we're going to use to send messages to VCV Rack and play oscillators there. So I'm going to just rename the first instrument slot here to, I don't know, VCV Rack 1 maybe. And then we can head over back to the MIDI tab. And by selecting the, the first instrument, you're going to output device VCV Rack. Again, it's the same part we created here. And then you have a bunch of different channels you can use to send your messages from 1 to 16. In this case, I'm going to stick to 1. Um, and then we go back to VCV Rack. And I think I'm going to have to restart it too, because I created a new part. Anyways, and then I have a, a clear patch here. We have the sound output and a mixer. And we're going to use the MIDI CV module to capture Oh, sorry, it's actually the, the other one. It's the MIDI CV one. You also have the CV MIDI, but we're going to use the MIDI CV. And then you select Windows MIDI if you're on Windows. In this case, I'm on Windows 10. And then the device VCV Rec 1. And then you can, you can choose the channel and that you're going to use to receive the messages. You know, in this case, I'm using the channel 1, which I set up here in Renoise you know, channel one. And now every time I play a note here, it's going to send a message, you know, on channel one only. So I can then set up a basic pattern here. Let's say, um, let me just input some random notes here. Oh, sorry, not recording. Okay. Okay, now I'll get a very small sequence. And then I'm going to head back to VCV rack and I will place any oscillator. I'm going to use this one. So three main different outputs that you should pay attention to. First one is V octave, which is the node information. In this case, C, you know, G, and etc. And we're going to send the node information to our oscillator. It, it will automatically convert the MIDI information to CV, so you don't need to worry about anything. And then we have the gate output, which is basically uh, the, when you want the node to be played, you know, the oscillator to be triggered. And in this case, you can see that it's constantly lit, and that's because we don't have any note offs set up here in our pattern. So we got to do that too. You know, like this. And now, every time it sends a note on and a note off, you have uh, like triggers, you know, working. So yeah, let me send the sound here to my mixer and slowly turn on the volume. As you can see, it's working perfectly. And let's just create a new oscillator so you can see how it's done again.
So I'm going to just duplicate this, this thing here. I'm going to change the channel because I'm already using channel one for the oscillator, this first oscillator. And you don't want to share channels because it can get a bit messy. You can also do that for creative reasons, but it's not a goal here. So I'm going to use the channel two here. Yeah. I'm going to place another oscillator, which happens to be the same one. I'm going to, you know, change maybe two octaves above and that's fine. So now I head back to Renoise and I'm going to stop my sequencer. I'm going to create a new instrument. Let me just rename it here to VCV Rack 2. And then go to the MIDI tab, output device, VCV Rack, same thing. And then all you have to do is change the channel you're working with. In this case, I'm going to change the channel 2, which is set up right here, you know, and they're now communicating. So I can place the gates, the V octave, and I'm going to send my oscillator to my mixer. And then I'm going to make a new sequence, which is going to be something like this. Let me see. Uh, let me just play it like in reverse. This is a bit different, actually. Okay. okay. Now I'm placing my note offs. So yeah. Now as you can see, I'm sending MIDI messages to two different oscillators and I can start turning on the volume. This is oscillator two, which is being triggered by the second track. And now this is oscillator two, oscillator one, I'm sorry, which is being triggered by the first track. And it's working perfectly. Now, let's say you want to add some delay uh, or any effect that you want to keep in sync with Renoise. But I think the delay is the best example here. So I'm going to put a delay here. Um, I, yeah, I like this one. So I'm going to send my second oscillator to the delay and then to my mixer with fully white signal. Yeah, so if I start playing it right now, you notice that the delay is out of sync because it's not turned on to the master clock, which is Renoise. So as you can see, it's out of sync. Maybe you want this, but maybe you don't. But anyways, if you don't, all you have to do is pick the clock output of the MIDI CV module. It can be this one or this one. I'd rather use this one because it uh, creates subdivisions, so it's a bit slower. If you use this one, it's going to be really fast. So I'm going to sync it right now. Takes a while to sync. But now you can see that it's synced, you know. Let me just put some feedback. Yeah, so now if I head back to Renoise and let's say, let me turn off the delay and change my BPM, it stays in sync, you know, 